Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam and in this 75th video of PTG Creo Parametric. In this video, we will be talking about some of surfacing related command. In our last video, we talked about trim, merge, thicken, solidify as well as fill. If you want to see those, then please do check the description of this video where I have added the link of that one. In this video, we will be talking about extend and offset tool. So let's start with offset. And as the name suggests, let's say if you'd like to create offset in quilt, you can utilize it. So here you can see I have selected the top quilt of the surface and let's click here on offset. And there we go. All we need to do is we need to specify the offset distance, for example, um, 50 mm. And now let's hit OK. So in this way, guys, we can quickly create offset and I'm going to say it is straight to the point and uh, very easy. And then we do have some other customization, for example, the direction of offset or let's say if you are doing it at a non planar surface, then we have got more option available here. For example, if you'd like to offset a sweeped surface where there is a curvature continuous, then probably you may not want to go with normal to surface but let's say automatic fit so we do have all these kind of options available now let's also have a look at extend let me click here on extend and now uh, here what we need to do is we need to select the boundary or edges that we would like to extend okay so let's say these are the edges that i would like to extend and then here we go so in this way guys uh, we can extend our surface now let's also try to extend another surface for example this one i would want to extend or probably uh, what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna actually trim this surface by half so let me actually select trim and then i'm gonna select a uh, trimming quilt and then trimming object let's say i would like to keep only one half which is this one and then let's click ok now let's say you want to go slide faster then you can also utilize this remove command so all you need to do is you need to select the surface that you would like to remove and then click on remove and let me actually click on leave open and here we go here we are facing some issue so what we need to do here is uh, let me actually select this option which says leave open and now click ok and there we have it now if i click here on extend again i may also be able to extend this surface um, let's say up to certain plane or object so i would like to extend this up to this object and there we go so this way we also have seen uh, you know different way to extend i mean where we are not putting some finite number but but we are just specifying a plane and in this particular scenario it was not a plane but a surface so this is also one of way how we can utilize extend command now let's talk about this intersect intersect is also i would say a very useful tool for example let's say you would like to create a curve but before that uh, let me also see if this one is merged or not so seems like I do not require to merge them together as they are one. So I'm going to use this intersect. I'm going to select both these entities and now I'm going to click on intersect. And after creating intersect here, you can see I have created a curve that form at intersection of both these features. So this is my plane and then this one is this curve. Now, what else we can do? Um, let me also create an axis here and let me quickly give it two offset references hit ok and now again plane axis and probably i'm gonna give this one as another reference now this one is angular and let's say if you'd like to create a curve that is being formed using or you know that exist at intersection of this entity as well as this plane which is angular creating that kind of curve will be really challenging but using intersect you will able to create it with ease and there we go again we have created this curve similarly uh, let's say i also would like to create something which form using intersection with these two entities and there we go 
we have formed another intersection here so in this way guys we have seen or understood how one can utilize extend offset intersect and remove tool in ptc creo parametric i hope guys you find this video helpful informational if so then please do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow complete ptc creo parametric series and other engineering related topics and i'm gonna catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye